Hey everyone, it's the Musician in Makeup, and I know it's been months since I've made a video, and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, school has been getting really tough. I just finished my junior year of college, which I can't believe at all. But um, junior year is sort of when things kind of hit the fan, and uh, I hear that it's sort of that way across the board, so if any of you out there have gone through your junior year of college, uh, I bet you know what I'm talking about. It's sort of the make or break year for whatever major you choose and that's when you take a lot of your hard classes. So I made the executive decision to kind of stop doing videos for a little while and focus on what I really needed to in order to succeed in what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I apologize for taking so much time off videos and I hope that uh, you guys will forgive me for that. But anyway, I have my May favorites for you guys today. I figured this would be a good video to sort of jump back into things. Um, I'm hoping to establish a bit of a filming schedule and maybe get some more videos up this summer. So uh, this is the first one and I hope you enjoy it. So the first product that I have to give it up to today is the NYC Bronzer in Sunny. And this thing, I mean, it's all over YouTube if you haven't seen it yet. Um, if you don't own it yet, I don't know what you're doing because this bronzer is super cheap, it's super pigmented, and it works incredibly well even on light skin tones like mine. Um, so really, really amazing bronzer. I have had this for probably two years now, haven't even hit pan on it, so it's a really amazing, amazing product for a really great price. Um, you can use it for a bunch of different things. You can use it for a little bit, bit of color all over your face. Um, you can use it to sculpt and contour uh, your face if you're a little bit fairer like me. Um, and also, what this is really good for and what I've been using it for recently is just sort of contouring um, in the crease. So in lieu of um, using a lot of different eyeshadow, I've just been taking a fluffy brush, uh, sort of like the... Uh, E40 by Sigma, which is one of my favorite eye brushes that I have. I'm just taking a really nice fluffy brush and running this through the crease and it gives a really nice natural contour look uh, to your lids. So I really, really love this bronzer and you should definitely check it out, especially for the price. So keeping on with the eyes, we have the Maybelline Define Align uh, eyeliner and this is in slate gray. I really have been loving this eyeliner. Actually my mother gave this to me because she had bought it and she didn't really like it. I'm not really sure why she didn't like it because I love it. It has um, a really nice texture to it. It's really quite a creamy liner so it's not something that's going to stay put particularly well. Um, if you prime your lids beforehand you're not going to have a problem. Um, but even when I don't prime my lids, I don't necessarily have a huge problem with it moving around. Um, but it definitely has a very creamy texture to it, which makes it really nice to smudge. I'm actually wearing it today, um, so if you look at my eyes, they're kind of really nice and smoky and smudgy. And this is what I use to achieve that look. It has a little bit of a, a smudging tip on the end of it, um, so opposite from the eyeliner end, it has that little smudgy tip. Um, not necessarily the most sanitary thing in the world um, to use and reuse that sponge on the end, but it gets the job done if you want a quick and dirty eyeliner look. Um, so this is a really great product and I've been enjoying it. If you guys couldn't tell, I've really been playing up my eyes recently. So this is the last eye product thing, I swear. Um, if you guys have watched my videos in the past, you know that I really love my eyelashes. I really give them a lot of attention because in my humble opinion, they're one of my best features that I have, and they're definitely one that I like to highlight because um, they're naturally nice and thick and long, and I really, really love my eyelashes. So I give them a lot of special attention. I usually like to combine my mascaras, and the combination that I've been favoring not only for this month, for, but for the past several months, um, has been the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, which is the orange tube, and the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, which is a relatively new mascara by CoverGirl. It's been out for a couple months now, um, but it's still relatively new. These two together give the most gorgeous eyelashes. I mean, amazing. I love using this combo. This gives you you know, as it says in the name, it's the Lash Blast Volume. It gives you a lot of volume, uh, a lot of thickness to your lashes. This gives you a lot of length and separation. So these two together are just the perfect combination. So I highly recommend trying so these next two next is out. a nail polish. And I don't think I've ever put a nail polish in a favorites video ever. I'm not a huge nail polish person. Person? Person? Not a huge nail polish person. Oh my gosh, I can't separate those two. Okay. Not a huge nail polish person. There we go. 
Um, so, I mean, if you see my videos, half the time my nails are cracked and chipped and not looking good because I'm, I don't like wearing nail polish and I don't like spending the time manicuring my nails. So more often than not, I just kind of leave them bare. Um, especially this past semester because I haven't had the time to do my nails. Uh, they've just been sort of bare and I mean I keep them trimmed and, and nice but they're usually not manicured. Um, but the other day when I was out uh, getting actually replacements for my mascara, I went and picked this up. And this is Essie Nail Polish in Forever Yummy. This is the perfect I'm wearing it right now. It is the perfect red. It's a little bit of a blue based red, um, but I'd say it's kind of leaning more towards a neutral true red than anything else. Um, if I had to say what the base color was, it would be more of a blue based red than an orangey red. But it's just a really gorgeous classic red polish. And in my opinion, if you're going to go for a manicure look, classic options that you have are just sort of bare nails with a little bit of a pale pink polish over them, a French tip, and red nails. You cannot go wrong with red nails. They're just classic, they're gorgeous, they're old Hollywood glamour, they're perfect, and I love wearing red nails. I'm actually wearing this on my toes as well. I'm not gonna like contort myself so you can see my toes, but take my word for it. So I'm really loving this color. The formula is really nice. It was actually pretty opaque after one coat. I probably could have gotten away with it, but I went and had a went ahead and did a second coat. I'm not even wearing this with a top coat right now, but if you guys can see, it's actually really nice and has a good shiny finish even without a top coat because I didn't bring a top coat home with me and didn't even bring any nail polish home with me because um, I'm only home for a little bit. I'm going back out to where I go to school because that's where I'm working this summer. But, um, but yeah, so I picked this up and it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. So perfect. All right, so the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about cosmetics wise is a perfume. This is Victoria's Secret uh, Body Spray in True Escape. It says it has solar jasmine. I don't know what solar jasmine is, but I like jasmine scented things generally. Um, and pomelo. This stuff smells so good and I've been wearing it nonstop for the past month. I sort of decided that for summer I wanted something a little bit lighter and a little bit fresher and that has absolutely done the trick for me. Um, I have a lot of perfumes but they're more like winter and fall scents and they're a little bit heavier and I love all of them especially um, if you go back a couple of favorites videos I really love the Couture Couture um, by Juicy Couture. I hate saying that name because it's like Couture three times in a row. But I really love that perfume. Um, I really love um, Eau Flirt by, I think it's Harvey Prince. But they're a lot heavier scents and not really built for spring and summer. So I really wanted something um, that wouldn't break the bank, but that smelled really good and lasted a long time. So I decided to give uh, some of the Victoria's Secret uh, body spray, fragran fragrance mist, sorry, they're fragrance mist. But I decided to give some of these a try. I had a coupon, so I went in and picked, uh, there, it was a sale, it was like 3 for 25 Um, I went in and picked some of these up. Um, and this has been my favorite by far. Um, it's the True Escape. Again, I think I said that, but it's been a, a really nice scent for summer. It's really light, it's really floral, um, but still very much present, and it has an actually good lasting power for a body spray, so pretty good. Okay, so now for a couple of TV shows that have absolutely taken over my life. Now that I'm done with school and have, like, nothing to do except read or relax, I, I've been just watching so much TV and catching up on um, shows that I sort of let fall by the wayside. So I have three TV shows that I just recently started watching, and the first one is Grey's Anatomy. I haven't ever watched it before, and I just started watching it from the beginning. It's a really, really good show. I'm not not yet halfway through season two. I finished season one because season one was only five, ep not five, uh, nine episodes long, so it was pretty quick to get through, but Grey's Anatomy is really, really a good show, and I've been really enjoying that one. Uh, the next TV show that I've been watching is Lost, which a friend, um, actually on Tumblr, uh, one of my friends that I met online suggested that show to me because I really like, um, Once Upon a Time, which... That's a whole nother video I could talk about once upon a time forever and ever. But 
I really, really like Once Upon a Time, and two of um, the creators of Once Upon a Time, uh, Adam Horowitz and Eddie Kistis, wrote for Lost. So she said that I would probably really enjoy Lost since I like Once Upon a Time so much, and I have been definitely enjoying it. It's a little bit weird um, at times, a little bit strange, some of the stuff that goes on. Um, I'm not yet through the first season, but uh, I will keep you guys updated and let you know what I'm thinking. But for now, I've been really enjoying it. And the third TV show that I've been watching um, is How I Met Your Mother. And I've sort of been watching that intermittently um, over the course of the semester. Uh, usually if, you know, I'm getting ready in the morning and I have like, you know, that half hour to get ready, I'll put it on while I'm getting ready. So I'm like, I think halfway through the fourth season right now and it's just a really good show it's really kind of funny at times it's just really easy to watch and really easy to get into and the characters are, are really great and their interactions with each other are fun so uh it's a good more light-hearted show and you don't have to think as much as you're watching it so it's just uh, a really enjoyable show. Okay so this sort of goes in the category of tv shows so this is sort of a fourth tv show that I've been liking um but I feel like I have to mention something else before I do mention the tv show um I have to mention the books first uh this is A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I have almost the entire series there are five books that are out right now I have the first four because I got them in a box set um, but these books are awesome. They're really, really good. If you enjoy, like, Lord of the Rings, if you enjoyed Aragon, that series, if you enjoyed, I don't know, anything like that where it's sort of like a, a different world, kind of a fantasy world. I know I'm a bit of a geek. Sue me. But, um, these books are really, really amazing. Uh, the way that he writes them is that each chapter is told from the viewpoint of a different character, so you get a lot of different... Um, opinions, um, the narratives, like they all they all fit together, but you sort of get um, different viewpoints on all of the events that are going on in the book. Um, so that's really interesting, uh, just the way that he writes it. So I've really been enjoying the books. I'm on the second one right now. I just I finished the first one. You can see the the spines all <laughs> bent and damaged. Um, but yeah, this this book has been amazing. I'm really enjoying the second one so far. Um, so it also fits in with the TV shows because I've also been sort of watching uh, the television show, Game of Thrones. I'm through the first season because the first season corresponds with the first book. Um, and the way that I've been doing it, which is sort of a little bit weird, um, I've been watching the episodes as I finish like each section of the book. Um, so like I'll go on Wikipedia because like where it gives the episode synopsis of each Game of Thrones episode. It tells you like which chapters from the book correspond with the episode. So I'll make sure I finish reading all of the chapters before I watch the episode. So I've sort of been watching and reading at the same time. Um, the TV show is fantastically good. Um, if you don't want to read these really big thick books, definitely give the TV show a watch. Um, the politics, the intrigue, the incest, the sex, the everything is absolutely amazing to watch and amazing to read. So definitely give um, the books or the TV show or both. All right, so the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is my car. I just got a car like not even a week ago and I, it is my first car and it is my child and it is my baby and I love it. Um, it is the 2013 Hyundai Accent, which is sort of the, the lowest, bottom of the line Hyundai car, but it's, you know, it's still a really nice car. It's a new car. But I've been really excited about that car, and I'll put in a picture of it right now. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm so excited. I love that car so much. Um, it's, it has a name, and you guys are going to laugh. Remember I said before I really love Once Upon a Time? Well, Captain Captain Hook's ship on Once Upon a Time is the Jolly Roger. My car is named the Jolly Roger. Love Once Upon a Time. Again, separate video. But um, it's a really amazing car and I've really been enjoying it. It rides really, really well. Um, really easy to handle. It. I'm not used to driving small cars because my family has um, SUVs. So whenever I do drive, I usually use my mom's. Um, Hyundai Veracruz, which is a much bigger car. Um, so I'm not used to driving the little sedans, but this one rides really comfortably. Um, it doesn't feel like a small car, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't feel 
as awkward driving it. I don't know what it is about it that makes it that way, but it's just a really nice car and I'm so excited to have it um, and can't wait to use it even more than I have been. So yeah, that is the last favorite that I have for you guys today. I'm sorry this video has been so long. Um, it's just really nice to sit down in front of the camera and talk to you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time which hopefully won't be five months from now. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye.